guys, before doing anything, what I want you to do is go to my channel, press subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, then you can also do this. Just press on this bell right here, click send all notifications for this channel, check that off, and press save. So now you know whenever I make a video, you'll get the notification. Yo, what is going on guys? Revised here. Thanks for watching part 2 of this 2D tutorial. Now, uh, last, uh, last video I taught you how to disable player movement, which it looks like this so far. Like this, and you, whenever you press W and S, you can't go forward and you can't move the camera. <coughs> Sorry about that. Now I'm going to teach you how to, <clears throat> whenever you press D, you're going to look uh, <clears throat> to your right. Like uh, very quickly, <clears throat> or when we press A, you're gonna look to your left very quickly. So, <clears throat> uh, let me get straight. All right. So we're gonna right click on Starter UI, insert na 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 na. Right click on Starter Pack, insert Objects, Local Scripts. <clears throat> All right. So. <clears throat> Now what we're going to do, make some variables. So anytime you make a local script, the best thing to do is always use repeat, repeat, wait, whoops, wait, until game.players.localplayer.character. So anytime you make a local script, you should always have this one line at the very top. You should always have that. Now what that's saying is repeat this whole line this just this one line repeat wait we're just gonna add a wait right here uh, just so it doesn't error <clears throat> so it doesn't run so fast so repeat wait until game now players dot local player dot character so what that's that is saying is repeat this one line until the players the local players character is loaded that's what that's saying <clears throat> So it's just gonna repeat that one line until the character is loaded for that player. For the yeah. Alright, so now let's make some variables. So local player equals game dot players dot local player. So local player is the client. Local char equals player that character. So player is this right here. So instead of doing game.players.local player right here, we just do player because player means game.players.local player. So now we're going to get uh, UIS. So UIS is going to stand for user input service. So game get service user input. I'm going to zoom in a little. User input service. Now, in user input service, there is a event called input begin. So input begin fires whenever you interact with your keyboard. So UIS dot input begin and connect this event to a function. Now, input begin takes a parameter of input. So now we want to check if uh, input dot key code so key code input dot key code is the it's hard to explain what key code is but every character on or letter has on your keyboard has a certain key code so <clears throat> so if input dot key code is equal to and instead of doing like D and then writing then we don't do that we do enum which I'm not too sure what enum stands for. Uh, you can look that up, but I know how to use enum. It's just like if you want to change the material of something, you do enum dot material dot plastic or smooth plastic, whatever. But we're doing enum dot uh, key code dot, and then there's all these things right here. So these are pretty much everything that's on a keyboard now if you go all the way down I don't know what these world things are but <clears throat> a little more down you find the button Y these are all for Xbox the for like your console to make their game console compatibility or Xbox compatible but anyways uh, key code 
uh, let's see what I'm trying to do. Oh yeah, A. So this is saying whenever we press A, we're gonna print A. Boof. All right. So whenever we press A, as you can see, it prints A. Now, what we want to do is whenever we press A, we want our character's torso to face to the left side. So what we want to do is let's make two parts. So let's create a part right here, make that anchored. Now I'm gonna change the scale, the size to a four by four, I think. Uh, two, two, and two. And let's kind of do some little measuring thing right here. So uh, like this, like this on both sides. Put this down. Now select both by holding control and we drag that up two studs so it's even with the torso you guys are gonna understand why I'm doing this now let's drag this over here and yeah right here and right and just make sure whenever you walk in left to right the two blocks are ones to your right and ones to your left now if not just kinda move them around and you know put it over here over here and then drag them out you know but mine's good okay so now that this is I'm not too sure which one's my left and which one's my right because whenever I spawn my camera might be like this but it really does not matter you actually it does matter to be honest let's see so this one's close this one's farther this one's close so my left one was close so this is how I was facing so just to remember which side you were facing just put a, a a wall maybe like this just just to remind rem, rem, remind you you know so <clears throat> this is how I spawn like right like this okay so <clears throat> what we want to do name this left uh, faced left name this one faced right now also make sure there are two studs up both of those blocks okay so <clears throat> um, yeah we don't this is just a note alright so in our local scripts let's name this UIS doesn't really matter what you name your local script but UIS is what we're gonna name it um, now whenever we press A we want our characters torso to face left which we want it to face this which is face left so <clears throat> what we can do is uh, we can make a folder yeah let's let's make a folder let's put face left and face right inside of here uh, face blocks make sure the name how everything spelled is exactly the same unless you know what you're doing so face blocks now go back in UIS let's make another variable local uh, face blocks equals workspace uh, dot uh, let's do wait for child face blocks so we're just gonna this wait for child is just to wait um, is just to wait for everything to be loaded so it does not error let's press enter just do that okay so <clears throat> now in here what we want to do is grab the character's torso so we have a variable called char which is the player's character so char dot torso so it's gonna get the torso in the character so torso dot c frame uh, c frame stands for coordinate frame and c frame is like a position pretty much a position with the rotation. So char dot torso dot c frame equals c frame dot new. Now this you you guys might not understand this so much. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. So we want to take the torso's c frame, which c frame is like the position and rotation, and make that equal to c frame dot new. Um, now if you go to Roblox C frame <clears throat> let me 
open up this wiki right quick okay uh, right here so cframe.new uh, you could use three values which is the x the y the z or you can do cframe.new the vector three position which is this is the one we're going to be using and the the look the position to look at so this is the one we're going to be using right here so we're going to get the position 10 minutes I didn't mean to click that but that's nice to know so <clears throat> char.torso.cframe equals cframe.new so now we want to get the position of the the torso yeah I think so the torso yeah so cuz yeah so char, char torso dot position so make this so what it's saying is make this position which is the torso's position position look at remember this is look at right here and this is another vector 3 didn't mean to click on that look at uh, so face blocks we have a variable up here face blocks which is this folder but we want to get face blocks dot base left inside of it so this is the look at uh, also don't forget dot position because it's a vector 3 <clears throat> now let's play press A nothing nothing happened alright sorry about that I didn't even notice about this uh, error so I didn't have an S add the S because face blocks is the folder name I just forgot the S that's really it excuse me alright so now let's test so as you can see so I'm pressing D I press A <clears throat> immediately I face that direction now what's the reason of the blocks you might be asking well it's just to face in dire that direction now if I jump and press A as you can see I kinda glitch out it's because my from the torso uh, it just puts me in the position of uh, like it makes it face this part so what if I hold A and I just come over here and I press A puts me in the position it puts me facing the block so I jump press A as you can see it just puts me in a position of facing the block pretty much but what we can do is just put the blocks like really far away but we're not gonna put them too far away now uh, I'm pretty sure there's a better way now what I was thinking was maybe to find the direction that the torso is facing like of the torso so when I repress A the torso just faces I don't know I'm not too sure but this is the best way I can uh really yeah, to be honest it's like the best way probably but anyways <clears throat> like th the best way I could think of sorry about that but okay so now let's make some another if statement inside this function so if input that key code is D so when we press D then we're gonna do face right now let's test that press D press A press D A D A yeah A D A pretty pretty neat eh? I hope it's pretty neat well now <clears throat> say you're gonna be doing like a incline so say like you have a now this guy's this problem might bother you guys in the future but if you plan on making like a 2d game you know you have like uh, I'm just gonna do this like very very quick it's not gonna be really nice terrain <clears throat> so say you have like some type of terrain stuff and you press a as you can see your character kinda you see how it leans I'm not too sure on how to fix this to be honest uh, but I know I'm gonna still be making YouTube tutorials that might be spread out on this uh, 2D development thing. They might be a little spread out. Don't get mad, please. It does take time because <clears throat> I am working on my 2D game at the moment. This is not it, but all these scripts are coming from my 2D game because it was like very simple to make. But like, you know, once I keep uh, keep it up with making my game, maybe I'll learn how to make these scripts better or whatever but that's pretty much it um 
yeah well thanks for watching guys peace out